Hi guys, I'm Ed Kim with The Boy Who Bakes and I make new videos every single week. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to be the first to find out when my recipes go live. Now obviously, this is not my kitchen. I'm currently on my way to Scotland for a very special project that you'll see all about next week. But it involves royalty. Um, and I just wanted to quickly say that the video you're going to see in a minute is all about a recipe from a feature that I've just written for the new issue of Jamie magazine, which is out now. And it's a feature all about one bowl baking, incredibly, incredibly simple recipes. And the recipe in today's video is a simple blondie recipe with salted pecans and dark chocolate. So to make the blondies, you're just gonna need a very few ingredients, most of which you probably already have at home. So what you're gonna need is some unsalted butter, some light brown sugar, some plain flour and baking powder, some eggs, some vanilla, some flaked sea salt, and then our flavorings for this are pecans and some dark chocolate. Now that's just what I put into my basic blondie, but of course you can take this recipe and adapt it however you want, throwing whatever you think is delicious into that blondie. I really love a really sweet and salty one, so I like putting caramel, chocolate, and then salted pretzels in to make a really fab uh, blondie. So the first thing we're gonna do is give our pecans a little bit more flavor. We want them to have that kind of salted nut flavor. So we're gonna make buttered pecans. So what we're gonna do is take our pecans, put them into a bowl, and then pour over our melted butter. Toss those together until they're nice and evenly coated, and then spread them out onto a baking tray and sprinkle with our flaked sea salt. Then they're gonna go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're really nice and toasty. You should start to smell them kind of, have that really fragrant nut kind of smell from the pecans. Then we're gonna leave those aside until they're cool, and then we can make the blondies. So this recipe really couldn't get any easier. It's the definition of an all-in-one recipe. So we're literally gonna take all of the ingredients, apart from the pecans and the chocolate, and we're gonna put them into a large bowl, and then using nothing more complicated than a wooden spoon, we're gonna mix them together to form a smooth batter. Now because everything is going in at the same time, it will take a little bit of time to come together. So it's really important you stop mixing as soon as the batter comes together to a nice smooth consistency. And that way we don't end up with a chewy, dense blondie that's a bit too tough. And, and then as soon as it's smooth, we're gonna take our chocolate and our pecans, roughly chop them, add them to the batter and stir it together very briefly just to combine. Now for the tin, I'm using a nine by 13 brownie tin today, and that's because I've doubled the original recipe from the magazine so that we get a slightly bigger portion because I've got people coming tonight and they need lots of blondies. So what I've done is I've lined it with a strip of parchment. And the reason for this, the reason it has that overhang is that when the brownies, uh, blondies even, are fully cooled, we can then just use the overhang and lift it out. And that way we don't have them sticking at all and it's just much, much easier. Once you've got your brownie batter done, pour it into your prepared pan and level out nice and even, and then pop that in the oven for about 25 to 30 for the square tin, or about 30 to 35 for the brownie size tin, until a skewer inserted into the middle comes out with just a couple of moist crumbs. We then need to allow it to cool for a good hour or so, you can even pop that in the fridge for a while, so that it's just easier to lift out of the tin. And then just simply cut it into pieces and eat. This is the quickest video, hopefully, I've ever done. It's so easy, it's incredibly easy. Very little prep, made from start to finish in no time at all, and it's super easy. If you want the recipe, I'll put the link to the Jamie Oliver uh, website, but it will also be in the current issue, that is the September 2017 Jamie Mag edition. So go have a look at that as well, um, and I will be back next week with another recipe.